Hi ladies! Today we are talking about brows and it's a topic that I really enjoy because I was terrible at taking care of my own brows before I had the tools that I have now. And basically I just, I didn't have the funds in college to be getting them done all the time. And I also just had no idea what I was doing. They shape differently, naturally they just grow differently so I was plucking them different and they would just look ridiculously wonky. You know, one of them would start over here and one of them would start out here and I just did not know how to clean them up on my own. So today I'm gonna to show you one, how to fill them in on your own daily and have them look natural. Two, also how to either take care of them between appointments if you are getting them done frequently or I'm gonna show you how to just take care of them on your own if you feel like you can do that or if you're in the situation that I was that I was just like that seems like something extra that I don't need to spend my money on. So first thing I found that was extremely helpful were these uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow stencils. So you get a variety of them. Firstly, save them all because as you grow them out you may find the one, the one that worked best for you before, like I used the Petite Slim Arch, I think, which is the smallest one, was the first one that I was using. And then as I was growing them out, now I use the Medium Arch, so I've gone a couple of sizes up, and that looks most natural on me now. So, save them. But you're gonna line them up according to the points, which I'll show you, and just pick out which one best encompasses what you've already got growing. And it's all right if you don't have much of like a tail or if you've overplucked here or something, that's okay. You just, you pick out the one that most naturally fits the shape of your brow. So I've already done that. So I'm gonna show you how to line them up with the one that actually does line up to my eyebrow. So you have three points right here where it shows you where your eyebrow should start and the arch where it should be the highest and where it should end at the tail. So, brush, and I like this one better than I like using any random angled brush like that because these are a little bit tougher of bristles, so if I were to use like the angled brush that came in my eyeshadow kit, that's for eyeliner, it's not as rough, it doesn't do as well with the um, pomade because it's kind of thick and it's meant to replace gel and powder the pigment so this does a little bit better of placing it more accurately and then it has the other end and I like this as opposed to one of these guys because again they're rougher so if I put too much pigment on which I typically do that's just I want to get them on there dark I have kind of blonde eyebrows I was practicing on this one so it's a little darker but you can see that they're pretty blonde and my hair is pretty dark so I have to get a lot of pigment on there and then I like to comb it out and make it look more like individual hairs with this guy. And this soft mascara wand just doesn't really do that. It doesn't rake it out like this one does. So, take the brush. If you're using powder, that's fine. The um, pigment here, I grab a little bit on there and then I wipe it on the cap because I don't have too much on there. So we're going to mark the points without using the stencil first. The first one shows you where it should begin. And you're going to go straight up from the nose and mark it like that, just like this. And when you're first starting out, I found that it was helpful to do a little bit of a darker mark. If I was doing this on my own, I'd do them really light because I'm better at lining the stencils up and getting them even from one side of my face to the other but when you first start out, make them dark and clean them up later. The second one is gonna be the arch. And you find the highest part of, point of your arch by going from the nose, looking straight ahead, not looking down at your mirror, or over here at your mirror or something, looking straight ahead. And then you follow up through your pupil, this way, to the arch and mark it. And then the last one shows you the tail. 
and you start at the tip of the nose and you go through the corner of your eye right here and you just kind of angle it at your brow that's where it's gonna end and then you're gonna take this guy and you're going to line it up like this So I told you I graduated uh, up to the medium arch and it's fuller right here, but it ends a little bit long for me. My face isn't really that big. It doesn't support that. So I'm just going to end it there. But the arch you can see still lines up right there. So we're good. Once you get it lined up like that, back away from the mirror. And you want to take a look and make sure that this is parallel to the floor. If it's up like this or if it's down like this, so will your eyebrows be when you're done. So also, when we're done, we're going to take this guy and we're going to flip it over and do the other brow. And if you were crooked on this side, but you're not crooked on this side, your brows are going to be different from one side to the other and that's not really cute. So I'm just getting a little bit more pigment on my brush. And we're gonna start, it's a little bit easier to do it when you're not trying to show everyone else. But we're gonna start with some stippling and stippling is when you dab the brush on instead of making a big swipe across and what that does is it gives individual brush marks as opposed to swiping across making one solid color and that's what we want with our brows because we want it to look like hair and the darker you're going with your brows from your natural color the more this matters because you don't want to have a big solid stripe on your face. And then I can still see my mark right there, so I'm just kind of stopping there. Okay, let's peel this guy off, see how we did. And you want to make sure that you wipe it off because there's going to be some excess color on there before you go to the other side because it's then going to be all over your makeup that you worked so hard for. So, I'm just going to take my finger and wipe that mark down. And you can see that we have a clean line across there, which is not really what I want. That doesn't look very natural. That's where this guy comes in. It's kind of rough, so I'm just gonna scrape it up. And we're getting some of the excess color off, which is what we want. And that's what I said is the difference between using this and using this. And there's where my mark is for that one. So I'm gonna wipe that off. All right, now, this is when it comes in that we take a look at grooming. Between appointments, my brows are gonna grow a little bit longer than I want before I have time to go back and have them trimmed. So what we can do is comb them completely the wrong direction, which feels weird. So this is not something that I do daily when I'm filling them in, but this is what I do when I want to clean them up. So if you do like I used to do, 
you find one stray hair that's real long and it's kind of pointing up or you know the wrong direction you just go bye <laughs> that's not really what you want to do <laughs> because if you want thicker fuller youthful eyebrows then you want to trim them instead of plucking them out completely so we've got our our mark and we see where our line is so I'm going to take the scissors and just trim the uh, longer hair. I'll try to do this left handed for you guys. Ooh, my brow girl would be so proud of me. And then we can comb them the other way if they're pretty long too. Yeah, right there, they're pretty long. I haven't been in a while. And we'll just trim them. And then if you have some that are completely outside of your eyebrow line, like if you grow some down here, those are the ones that you would want to pluck. You don't want to pluck them just because they're growing and they're pointing into that um, brow bone area. You would want to pluck the extra ones that grow, that the follicle starts outside. So we comb it back in the direction that we want. And then this is where you would either, if you're using powder, you'd want to set it with a gel and I would not pay way too much to buy expensive eyebrow gel that it can be like 30, 45 bucks depending on it. And it kind of makes them feel a little crusty and hard to move. I would just get, it's usually like $2 or something, clear mascara. That's what I used to use when I used powder before I started doing this one, which is both products in one. So clear mascara basically does the same thing. It holds them in place all day long and it costs a lot, a lot less. So I'm gonna just do the other side, but how you would finish this is take a little bit of concealer along the edge and make sure that you rub it in pretty good because if you have like, where you can see the pencil line of concealer, that's not uh, gonna look natural if you're going for natural looking brows. So you just take a thinner brush and kind of smudge up that line and then you finish it off with a little bit of highlighter underneath the brow and maybe a little right there and I also like to go in here with a highlighter too and that's how you finish off your brows. That's how you groom them between appointments and if you have any questions about these guys let me know. I'd love to help. So Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, then you might want to hop over to the luxicon.co because I have all of the products linked. I do more than just videos if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and also, if you liked it, help me out. Give me a like, a share, and a follow. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, ladies.